guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I've got a full face of Bare Minerals. So this is going to be another one in my full face series and I feel like Bare Minerals is a very underrated brand here on YouTube. I feel like they don't get a lot of attention so I'm excited to do a full face today. Most of these products I've used before but I think I'm going to have two first impressions in today's video. This is not sponsored. I purchased everything myself and I do have a full face of blank playlist that I'll leave linked down below. Most recently I did Urban Decay, but I've also done Elf, Milani, Essence. So if you want to see those, I'll leave them linked down below, but let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, since I'm using the original foundation, which is a powder, I'm going to do my concealer first. So this is their Bare Pro Concealer. They have a few different concealers. If you prefer more of a traditional liquid concealer, they do have one, but this one is a cream. And I bought the shade Light Neutral 4. So I'm going to take this and apply it on the inner portion of my eye where I have the most darkness. And then I have some blue right out here. Any more darkness, you can kind of like spot conceal a little bit. I'm gonna add just a little bit more for the under eyes. I've used this once and I actually really liked it. I was shocked at how easily it blended out because it's a lot creamier than I was expecting for being a concealer like this and a little bit goes a long way so the brush I'm gonna use this you can use your fingers honestly but this is from Sigma it is their precision round brush so I'm gonna go ahead and use this this is also a lot more forgiving than a liquid concealer because typically liquid concealers dry a bit faster but because this is a cream you can take your time it'll blend out even if it's been sitting there for a bit so for this video I wanted to use a lot of the like original products the powder products by the way i'm going to take whatever's left on my brush and just conceal my lids a little bit the original products really bring me back i remember watching the bare minerals like the infomercials on tv when i was younger and i remember like wanting to try the products so bad because they looked amazing on those little specials that they would show on TV. And I also wanted to include those in today's video because I feel like sometimes there's some confusion about how to use the loose powder products. And I do feel like there is a bit of a different way to use them because they're not your traditional pressed powder products. You have to use them slightly different. Okay, there you go. This concealer, I can't get over how well it melts into the skin. Like, I mean, you can still see a little bit peeking through, so it's not extreme coverage, but a little bit goes a long way. And truly, it looks like my own skin. Like, sometimes when you spot conceal, like, you can see where the spots are if you're not going to go in with other products. You can absolutely wear this on its own like that. Like, it's undetectable. Okay, the product that I get the most questions about. This is the original foundation. I wear the matte because I tried the original and I found it a little bit more glowy than I like. And I think that's kind of a misconception with Bare Minerals products is that they look dry or flat because they're powders, but this will look like a liquid foundation. Even the matte one, I wouldn't describe it as matte. I would describe it as satin. Oh, by the way, before I started, I had on my sunscreen, which is a tinted sunscreen, which I specifically used because this is kind of a darker shade for me and I self tanned and wanted to match. So I have light 08. So you want to get a little bit out in the cap. What I usually do is open about like three of the holes and then get just a tiny little bit here in the cap. Now the key is using the right brush. If you find that this doesn't look right, it's probably the brush. So I'm going to talk a little bit about brushes. So a lot of times I'll see people try to use a powder foundation with a powder brush. And a powder brush is best to kind of like diffuse the product all over the skin. But if you're going for coverage and the look of a foundation, a powder brush is just too flimsy to do that. You need a little bit more density, like you need some more bristles. So something like this I really love. The one I'm gonna use today, unfortunately was limited edition, but this is my favorite to use with my powder foundations. This is from Milani. Doesn't even say a name on it, does it? It says 556. This was part of their holiday collection last year, so it's a flat top and it's a little bit more dense. Similar concept to the Sigma Flat Kabuki. Elf has like a domed one that I think is great for this as well. I've also seen people use this and I could imagine this working really well for it. This is the sculpting brush from Real Techniques if you want something a little more rounded, but the key is using a brush with shorter bristles. You don't want really long bristles like this because if they're really long that's where it's going to be more fluffy so you want it more densely packed with shorter bristles 
and a lot of bristles. Okay, and then go ahead and swirl around in the cap so you can pick up everything. This absolutely reminds me of the old Bare Minerals infomercials when they're like, swirl, tap, buff. So, you want it to kind of look like there's nothing on the brush. Tap it off a bit. Now, all the product is kind of in the brush. So, one, the more you start to like buff it around, the more the product's gonna come out and onto the skin. So, you just wanna start buffing. And the key with this, and really with any powder foundation, just take your time and buff it out. The longer you sit here doing these circular motions, the better it's going to look. And I like to work in small layers. I don't like to go in with a ton of product right away. I like to just do a little bit, see where I'm at. And then if I need to add some coverage, I'll go in with a little bit more powder. So that was one small layer. I did not go with a lot of product and this is what we've got. So now I'm just going back in and adding a little bit more. You can really build the coverage, but I'm not gonna say that it's the most full coverage foundation out there. I feel like it, really is just your skin but slightly perfected and i also think it's one of the best looking foundations up close sometimes on camera the more like full coverage flawless foundations translate the best but in person they can look quite heavy this is a foundation i don't know if it's going to look perfect on camera but in person it does and then you can kind of spot conceal with this so even though we've already done our concealer i'm actually going to use that same brush pick up a little bit and you can apply it anywhere do you see how much that just kind of like bumped up the coverage you can honestly do your whole base with just this. I don't think you need to do concealer first, but I did want to show both. All right, that's it for foundation. Now I'm going to go in with my blush. So I'm going to be using the powder one. Like I said, I have the shade Glee, but I did actually, when I purchased the additional products that I needed for this video off Ulta, they had a special where if you spent at least $40, you got this gift set, which comes with the Bounce and Blur, one of the Gen Nude Lips, an eyeshadow, a mineral veil. So I also have the Bounce and Blur blush now. This is a mini, but this is plenty of blush. This shade is quite dark for me. I think this would be much better suited to someone with a deeper skin tone, but I wore it the other day and it was a beautiful, like, wintry flushed cheek so i do like these as well but i'm gonna use the original okay with this the tiniest bit goes a long way so do not tap out anywhere near as much as you do the foundation and i don't even recommend tapping out that much foundation with this i only open like one hole tap into the cap can you guys hopefully this is visible on camera there are just a few little specks of it in here. You do not need a lot. A brush I've been liking for this is the Persona Blush Brush. So it's like a dual-ended brush. Blush on this side, highlight on this side. So same concept. You want to swirl around in the cap for a little while, making sure you pick everything up, tap it off. Again, this brush was dirty before, so you won't see that much color on it. But start going in with some circular motions and build it up. I find that this blush is quite forgiving. So the longer that you sit here and buff, kind of like the foundation, it will blend itself out. So for that, I think it's very user-friendly, very easy for beginners. But the key is just that you need to pick up hardly anything on your brush. If you guys are curious about Bare Minerals and you wanna learn more, one YouTuber that I highly, highly recommend is Shelby Wilson. She is the Bare Minerals queen. She used to work at Bare Minerals for quite a while. So a lot of what I know about this brand and how to use their products comes from her videos. So she has so many tips about powder foundations and just how to get the best look with Bare Minerals products. So if you are new to the brand, I highly recommend checking her out. There we go, a little rosy flush. And I do feel like for every day, for foundation and base, you could just stop right here. You don't need to do any more, but for this video, I'm gonna show, whoa, it bumped everything. I'm gonna show the rest of the process. So we're gonna use the original Warmth Bronzer. When I think back to those Bare Minerals infomercials, I cannot not picture Warmth. So when I said the blush is a little bit goes a long way, warmth is a little bit goes a super long way, especially if you're fair. This is supposed to be a universal shade. It's supposed to work for everyone. It's kind of 
it's a bronzer but it's not a bronzer it's just supposed to like liven up the skin but if you do prefer more of a traditional bronzer in like a powder form they have those as well same thing tap out the tiniest bit these little jars this will last you forever so i'm gonna use a really fluffy brush for this so this is from the brand pract it's their blush slash powder brush go ahead and pick it up by the way look at how like dewy i look right now okay so i like to start this kind of near the hairline and then move in and again circular motions also just going to take this around the hairline around the jawline a bit all right time for highlight this is the first not loose powder product this is their what is the official name of this the endless glow highlight and I bought the shade Joy. Now, looking at this, you're like, girl, that is not going to work for you as a highlight. But I find that this applies a little different than it looks in the pan. I think if you're around my skin tone, the shade Free would probably be even better. But I just love a rosy highlight, so I wanted this one. I've used it once, and it's like on the verge of being too dark for me, but I still kind of like the tone. So I'm going to use the other side of the Persona brush. Hardly pick up any and then do some circular motions so i mean you can see it's not as dark as it looks in the pan and i use it kind of as like a highlight slash a blush topper see and then i like that this is dual ended because then i can flip it over and go back to the side that we used for blush and it'll still have a little more product and we can just kind of work everything together this is not a blinding highlight so it might not be for everyone but for me this is the formula that i love where it just kind of looks like natural skin i mean it could be built up i don't apply a ton of it but i really like the result all right time for my favorite step the mineral veil so this is a finishing powder and you can just kind of dust it over when you're done with your base so this is a finishing powder i like to dust it over top of everything once i finish my base and this does such a good job at blurring everything out. It's just so perfecting. It is also a little bit mattifying. So if you felt like you were too shiny from the powders, which again, isn't that amazing? Just powders and it's quite glowy. All right, I don't have a Bare Minerals brow product, unfortunately, so I'm gonna go do my brows off camera and we'll come back for eyes. All right, so for the eyes, again, we're going old school. This was in that little uh, gift set that I shared with you guys this is the shade nude beach which i was looking it up and it seems like this is a really popular shade from them so it's an individual shadow which i feel like fits the bare minerals brand it's very like quick easy on the go so it's a nice one and done shade however before we go in with that i'm going to take a little bit more warmth i'm not even going to take any more i'm just going to grab whatever is sitting in the container tap most of it off and then i'm going to do a light dusting in the crease just so we have a little bit of definition before we go in with that main shade so this doesn't have a closure like their other ones so i feel like this could get a bit messy but i'm gonna tap a tiny bit into the cap now usually with loose products like this i use a glitter glue or some type of base but i feel like since this is supposed to be just a simple everyday easy type of product we probably won't need that so i'm gonna tap off most of it and then go ahead and apply that to the lid that's really pretty this honestly if you're very fair, this could be a pretty highlight as well. So I'm taking this all over the lid and honestly kind of into the crease a bit as well, just everywhere. This is not too shiny, it's definitely more satiny, so I feel like it would be nice if you have more mature lids and you notice that shades that are too shimmery just don't sit very well. Okay, really easy for every day. I'm gonna do mascara and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. I added some mascara and I did just a little bit of brown liner at the lash line because I felt like it needed just a little something, but I like this really simple eye and face look, really. And it's time for lips. I have two options here. Both of these are minis. This is the one from the set that I mentioned. This is the Bare Nude Lipstick in Swag. And then we have this one, which is the shade Hibiscus. This came from another set that I purchased. I don't think either set is available for purchase anymore, unfortunately, but I think for today's look, as much as I love a bold red, I kind of think a soft pink would just match this very simple classic look. Okay, I've never used any of their lip products, so let's see. This is really pink. <laughs> It's a very moussey formula. Formula feels comfortable, but this shade is just way too pink for my liking personally. I mean, I love a pink lip, but not this shade. 
All right, I zoomed us out a bit so we could get the full effect, but again, I just really think Bare Minerals is so underrated. For me, the standouts from the brand, obviously the, where'd I put it? The original foundation, the Mineral Veil, incredible. But also this highlight, if you like a really subtle, like lit from within style highlight, this is really beautiful. Also this concealer, so easy to use. Like I said, it blends into the skin. Perfect for a no makeup makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look today using all Bare Minerals products. I will leave my full face of blank brand playlist linked down below if you want to see more. If you are new here, I upload Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern. I would love for you to subscribe and I'll go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.